Hello, I'm Anita Jorgensen of Anita Jorgensen Lighting Design. And sitting with me are two of my key team members, um, Naomi Castillo and Timothy Holm. We've been working on a number of very interesting projects together. Konica Minolta has been a very integral part of a few of our uh, recent and let's say most fun projects. On museum projects using the Konica Minolta uh, meters, specifically the, the T10A luminance meter, which is um, an extremely useful tool uh, when looking at um, critical uh, conservation levels for, for a piece of artwork. We primarily look at the illuminance values and put candles um, and, and try to meet what uh, has been established by the conservator. But the new CL500A meter has also been useful as far as determining sort of color rendering values and, and establishing the quality of the light sources that we use in those projects. In a number of instances, it just becomes so useful because it confirms what we're describing that we see. And sometimes in trying to describe a subjective impression, it could be, well, that's what you see, but how do you really know that's the case? it does give that spectral distribution curve and you can sort of confirm the existence of UV, which is often a concern uh, for the conservators. And um, using that meter, it can sort of lead you in the right direction. Do we need to reduce the amount of UV? Do we need a UV shield? Or are we okay? Exactly. And this can tell us on the curve exactly where the energy is on the spectral um, distribution curve.